Bile is a greenish-yellow fluid produced by the liver. The liver is this organ just here. On this diagram, you can see this yellow structure just underneath the liver. This is the gallbladder. Bile is stored in the gallbladder. This structure is what releases the bile into the top of the small intestine around here. For your exam, it's important that you can explain why bile is useful in the body. So let's take a look at what the bile is actually used for. Bile breaks down fats to form smaller droplets. This large yellow droplet represents fat. When this comes into contact with bile, it breaks down into smaller droplets. We say that the bile emulsifies fat. This is just a scientific word that describes how bile breaks the fat down into smaller droplets. The larger surface area increases the rate of fat breakdown by the enzyme lipase. So what else does bile do? Bile is alkaline to neutralise hydrochloric acid from the stomach. Remember that the bile is released by the gallbladder at the top of the small intestine. This is where it mixes with the hydrochloric acid. This image shows a pH scale. The reds and oranges at this end show acidic pHs and the blues and purples at this end show alkaline pHs. The hydrochloric acid in the stomach is acidic and sits around here on the pH scale. Bile is more alkaline, it sits around here. By mixing together, the bile actually neutralises the stomach acid, moving it a little bit further up the pH scale. The alkaline conditions increase the rate of fat breakdown by lipase. The optimum pH for lipase is alkaline, so it works faster at this higher pH. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.